A rally in the rain cap is Comoreno's first day on the campaign trail here in northern Mindanao. Kani-kanina lang, nandun kami sa Divisoria Plaza ng Cagayan de Oro City kung saan nagka-rally si Isko Moreno at yun nga, umula na malakas sa rally. And this actually cut the rally short. Isko Moreno was the only one to speak during the rally and he actually first told people to go home because he was he thought that they would get sick and natakot siya na magkakasakit sila. So pinauwi niya ang mga tao sa rally. But the people in the rally decided to stay and they actually had a lot of energy although a big chunk of the crowd also left because there were also children and elderly who attended and kumalas yung iba but there was a core group that stayed in front of the stage and continued to watch the rally and listen to Isko Moreno and visibly touched si Isko Moreno doon sa passion ng crowd for him. He was very visibly also enjoying himself talking to the crowd, um, hyping them up and may pa ang part where he said that in all his years in politics he had never seen a crowd with so much energy stay under the rain for him. Sa he even went from the covered part of the stage to the non-covered part. So he was able to Isko Moreno. And um, kitang kita actually mentioned the party sa stage because despite the weather, high energy pa rin. Uh, there was even a part where kumanta yung crowd ng hit ages classic na may line na basang basa sa ulan. Kumanta rin sila ng Manila, Manila and sumayaw sumunod. And um, si Isko Moreno rin nakasali sa banda on stage singing that classic OPM song. And so it was actually a very high energy night for him. And uh, there was even a part where he was he seemed to be crying. He seemed to be emotional. His voice was cracking up because he really couldn't believe that the crowd would stay despite the kind of weather we saw. And earlier, before that rally, he actually went around a motorcade in Cagayan de Oro City. And the highlight of the motorcade na yon ay nung napunta siya sa Kogon Public Market. Grabe yung crowd. Um, sabi ko nga ito sa like zombie apocalypse almost because of the huge crowd and even like on the higher floors of buildings, people could really be seen lining up and crowding the, the balconies just to see him. People really going to his truck and trying to shake his hand. It was really like almost like a mosh pit kind of scenario in the Kogon public market. Obviously in other parts of the city, there were less people and there were also parts where the streets were completely empty, lalo na dun sa areas na uh, hindi masyadong commercial or um, you know, mga major residential. But definitely, uh, you could see that Isko Moreno was uh, really enjoying himself. And uh, towards the end of the motorcade, na malapit na doon sa Divisoria Plaza, uh, he was actually greeted by an LGBT group supporting him. So this was actually planned in his campaign team that that group would welcome him towards the stage of his campaign rally. And these LGBT groups had posters, they had torches lit for a like, symbolic kind of torch giving to Isko Moreno. They had rainbow flags symbolizing their movement. And Isko Moreno, as we know, he's known to have an Apple Watch with a rainbow strap. So, you know, I guess it kind of like echoes his campaign as well. And he actually went down and um, spoke to the to the LGBT groups who had gathered for him. And we were able to interview some of the organizers of that particular LGBT activity. The feel namin, ang love niya sa amin ng mga LGBT. Sa lang yung nakikita namin presidente na nasa isip at nasa puso niya ang bawat boses ng mga ordinaryong miyembro ng LGBTQ. Kaya nakikita namin sa kanya na sa ang dapat namin naging ama. Thank you. But before those high energy events, um, Isko Moreno also met with the local leaders of this region and of this province and the city. Uh, he had a courtesy call with Cagayan de Oro City Mayor Oja Moreno. Before that, he had a courtesy visit naman with uh, Masamis Oriental Governor Bambi Imano. Now, we know that Oja Moreno has endorsed Lenny Robredo and we know that Bambi Imano has not yet endorsed any presidential candidate. But despite this, uh, Isko Moreno was still very upbeat in these uh, local leader visits and he was telling the media actually that he's already happy that dun sa reception sa kanya ni uh, Governor Emano. Sapat, sapat na pong ako'y tinanggap ni Governor. Taos puso ang pasasalamat ng aming team. Kami dumating na tao sa provincial government at tinanggap kaming tao at aalis kaming tao. So sa mga taga-kagayan at uh, pinangunguna ng ating minamahal na Governor, ay masaya-masaya na ako ng ganito. 
they even gathered some of the provincial capital government employees to listen to Isko Moreno address them and explain some of his platforms. Um, and also before that, we saw Isko Moreno drop by um, less populated areas in Misamis Oriental. Um, the first place he went to was the city of Hingoog, and he, he had a motorcade there. There were uh, also streets where maraming tao. There were also streets where onti lang yung tao. Uh, after that, meron siyang town hall meeting in Medina Town, and he was actually hosted by the vice mayor there. And there was a very big crowd also for him, um, and they were also very responsive and very energetic during his speech. Niya. You could really see that um, people were listening to him. He really captured their attention. Um, and I think he was able to get his message across. After that, there was a town hall meeting in another town, uh, Balingasag, and he also met with people there, and from there he took a chopper to Cagayan de Oro City, where, as I said, the events took place. So, um, really judging by everything, no, in terms of local leader support, you really could feel that walang political endorsements for Isko Moreno here. Um, nobody really went out of their way to raise his hand, except, of course, for the host vice mayor, si, um, si Michael Kim Ochiga in uh, in Medina, and um, but aside from that, no, walang major political endorsements. But I guess the highlight of his uh, northern Mindanao trip so far is the energy that you could really see from the ordinary people who he saw in the streets, who went to his rallies and, and town hall meetings, and you can really feel, you know, that they had a connection with him. And I guess that's one thing that Isko Moreno can take from his uh, northern Mindanao trip so far. Um, tomorrow he will continue his his events in northern Mindanao. He will be going to. Uh, Lanao del Norte, he will be going to Tubod, Iligan City in the coming days. Um, and we will be reporting on those events um, here from Northern Mindanao. Thanks for watching this vlog. Pierre Nada, Rappler, Cagayan de Oro City.